So I've been trying to find uh, picture frames for my Polaroid. You know, I've been working on my Polaroid project, taking projects of all my pictures, and I was going to have them on the wall here, on this big blank wall. I felt for myself I didn't really want to put up a, you know, a bunch of degrees and stuff like that because most people want to see the work you've done. And so I went online and I looked and I found this Polaroid frame as a 3D printable item. And, you know, it's nice, but it's made to be put on a desk. It has a little stand on here, and I didn't like the bulk of it. It's very thick. Um, and I didn't like the way it sort of held the picture, you know, that sort of swoopy, curvy. It's not for me. So what did I do? I do what I always do and did a little bit too much. To 3D Studio Max, and I designed my own. Um, you know, the idea is that you slide the picture in that slot there, it has a little bit of a drop in the rim there, and there's a bit of coverage here, and this thing will be my picture frame. And then I decided to put a little brain near the bottom, just like Polaroid frame by me, just so I know, you know, in case it shows up someplace on the internet or whatever. I'm sure somebody could easily go in and change that. And then that turned into, turned into this. So this was the first version, and I kind of like this version, um, but one of the things that ended up happening there, you know, you can see here, there's a gap. Um, and, you know, it's okay, but, like, I really wanted that to be covered. Sort of the second version is this, and it came down to the edge of the photo, which is a little low, and this was a lot exposed here. So the new version, which is printing now, uh, this comes up higher, and that's a little shorter. And then on the back, it has a little spot where I can have a nail kind of go through, nail head fit in, slide up, and then these will go on the wall. You may be saying to yourself, Tom, that's a lot of work for a picture frame. And you know what? It kind of is, but the alternative is this, which on sale is $20. Like, what? I can print at least 14 with this spool. Like, I've already done the calculation on the material. Um, it takes about a kilogram, just under, I think it was 900 grams to do 14. And this is a kilogram, and this is $20. $20 for six at 60% off, or $20 for 14. The math makes sense to me.